haven't even had a cup of coffee. I've had a glass of water before I did my exercise and my yoga and my sauna in and all of my things that I do in the morning, but I haven't yet had coffee. So let's see if I can talk straight. So today I want to talk about manifesting your desires. I want to talk about getting them into reality for you because there are certain mistakes that I see people making and it's not just one, right? Like manifesting it's so easy, right? Manifesting, you ask for what you want, you truly believe in it, you become an energetic match for it, you keep and then and I get the feeling that you're going to start channeling in a minute and there's going to be a whole lot of messages. So sit tight and listen. The first thing is, do you even know what you want? Right? We're so busy manifesting and writing affirmations and doing the mindset work and you know creating the big beautiful vision for our business and working with our business coaches towards that. But do we actually even know what we want? We might think we know what we want, but oftentimes when I when people aren't able to manifest what they want and I ask them a few questions, it really doesn't take much to unravel it, right? Ask them a few questions about why they want that. Like, what is the difference that's going to make in the world? What is the difference it's going to make in their life? And why do they actually want it? Like, what is the deep burning desire and need? And just like Napoleon Hill said, right? You must have the burning fucking desire. If you don't have the burning desire, you're not going to manifest it. Manifest it. Told you I couldn't talk without coffee because... You're not wanting it bad enough, right? And if you don't want it bad enough, then you're not an energetic match for that which needs to come in. So sometimes you want to manifest, let's say, a pink convertible. I wouldn't mind a pink convertible. I have black one. Maybe I'd like a pink one, right? So you want to manifest a pink convertible. But do you really? Do you actually really even like pink? Or do you just think you like pink because everyone else likes pink at the moment? They don't, FYI. It's just me <laughs> out here on my own enjoying pink. <laughs> So we think we want something, right? Because our brain tells us we want it. You want to fit in, Michelle. You want to fit in. You want to be the same as everyone else. Make sure you have a pink convertible. It's what the business people have. I don't know any business people have a pink convertible, but we're running with it, right? So your brain tells you that you want these things, and then you hustle to get them. And that's mistake, right? Hustling kills all the energy. You don't need to hustle to get anything. Yes, you need to be taking aligned actions. And if you don't know how to take aligned actions, please go to my website, empowermentempires.com. And they're right there, right at the front. There's a free workshop for you on how to do aligned action. Do it, do it, do it. But, right, we need to be an energetic match for that which we're calling in. And if we're hustling, we're not going to be an energetic match because our vibe is going to be hustle instead of flow and allow. Just as if your throat and tightens up with some kind of histamine reaction, right? You're allergic to some food. Of course, the food's not going to be able to go down, right? So your body's like, oh my God, alert, alert, alert. You're going to die. Close up, close up. Same with fear, right? It's your body going into inflammation, which is going into fight or flight, and it's going, alert, 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 don't need anything in or out. And so then you tank your energy. Hustle is the killer of every single business dream. I promise you, I hate hustle, and I hate it when people are like, yeah, let's hustle, and there's even old groups on hustle. Yuck, burn them all to the ground, right? Work and flow instead of hustle. Now, flow doesn't mean that you're laying about on your unicorn in the pool all day. Sure, you do that sometimes, right? But you're also busy taking aligned actions. But from flow, it's a difficult concept to explain. If you join the workshop, I, I promise I'll explain it in more details. But for now, let's dive on into why you're not getting what you're manifesting in your business. So really think about it. Like, why do you want to manifest it? Do you want to manifest it because the pink convertible is a cool thing at the moment? Or do you want to manifest it because you have a burning desire to have a pink convertible? And what's the difference it's going to make in your life? Is it going to make you feel like a queen so that you then become even more magnetic to your clients? Is it going to be an eco friendly friendly car that runs on fresh air so it's going to change the world as well like what is the real burning desire and reason that you want it if it's just because it's cool you're not going to be able to manifest it right it needs to be something that is super close to your heart and sometimes you know like courses might be the craze yeah let's build this online course but you don't build it there's a couple of reasons right you might not build it because a you want it too badly and you're afraid 
what will happen when you actually do have it but more likely than not you just want to build it because it's the cool thing to do at the moment or it's the thing that your coach said to do or it's you know the the latest trend or someone asked you for it now just because someone asked you to do something in your business doesn't mean you need to do it right it needs to be aligned with you you need to know you you need to know you inside and out but back when napoleon hill wrote his beautiful book what is it even called think rich think rich how thank you why rich i can't remember it's been so long since i read it right but things were a lot quieter there wasn't any hustle there certainly wasn't any social media right there was hardly any tv <laughs> so they had less distractions they really knew what they wanted but we live in a world that's just so overfraught there is a reason that i refuse to let my clients get onto social media until lunchtime so whoever's watching this is going to be in trouble <laughs> kidding you're allowed to watch me right <laughs> you're allowed to, to listen to this great manifesting stuff so what is it that you are crowding out your life with so that you can't actually hear yourself think we're, we're all busy saying i want to tap into soul i want to know how to tap into soul but you don't give yourself the space to tap into soul, right? It requires space and it requires quiet. It requires that you do less. And sometimes we're afraid to tap into soul. I was certainly afraid to tap back into my soul all those years ago because I thought that I'd be told to do all sorts of things that I just wasn't prepared or ready to do. These days, if soul tells me to do something, I do it immediately. I do not procrastinate, right? If I get a super hot idea, or even if it's an idea that scares the pants off me, or even if it's something I really don't want to do, even if it's getting rid of something I really don't want to get rid of, if I'm being told by soul, and there are certain ways that you know when you're tapping into soul and when you're not, I have a book coming out to teach you that, FYI, um, or you can ask me in our coaching sessions if you coach with me. Um, I was I telling you, I distracted myself. Um, right, so tapping into soul, when soul tells me something, I do it absolutely instantly, because if I wait, my brain is going to come along. It's going to go, oh, yeah, Michelle, but you should keep it because, and yeah, you can do it later. Look, here's the, this bed that needs to be made. And look, the dog's run away. You need to go and catch her, right? But do what soul tells you to do straight away. And then there's no umming and ahhing. We spend so much goddamn energy umming and ahhing and deciding whether we should do something or not. Where you just took the bloody soul aligned action, you could then get on with your days and you'd have more space so you could tap into soul in an even bigger and better way right so those really are the mistakes with manifesting right if it's not coming in check that it's truly aligned with you if it's not coming in check that you're actually tapping into soul and listening to soul messages right you might be getting tweaks and ideas about it um check that you are an energetic match for that which you're calling in is there enough space in your life are you having enough fun you know is your body clear are you treating it like a temple check those three things and then go back to manifesting your little ass off and building the life that you want to live and remember my darlings together we shall rise have a great week